Hello everyone. Today we are going to start our new lesson, the strength of a uniform field, from chapter six, electrostatics, grade ten. So I hope that you all of you are doing well and uh, doing excellent in your studies. So let's begin our new lesson, the strength of a uniform field. Strength of a uniform field of, especially of the electrostatic field. So here you can see. Uh, this is uh, this is these are the two capacitors, and it is connected to a potential difference. And uh, you can set up a uniform field between two parallel plate, parallel metal plates by connecting them to the terminals of a high vo voltage power supply. So this is a high voltage power supply, and you have connected this uh, power supply with two metal plates. Now, what's going to be happen? Uh, what's uh, going to happen? between these two uh, plates it is through the their uniform electric field the strength of the field between them depends on two fa factors number one is the voltage between the plates the higher the voltage the stronger the field so electric field strength is directly proportional to the voltage supplied the separation between the plates the greater their separation the weaker the field so this electric field strength has inverse relation or we can say it has a di indirect relation with distance between them if the distance is very uh, is greater the electric field strength would be weaker and if the uh, distance is uh, lesser the electric field strength would be greater these factors can be combined to form an equation for the electric field strength through electric field strength is equal to voltage over uh, distance minus so the minus sign indicate the opposite sign between the voltage and electric field strength so the unit of electric field strength is volt per meter or Newton per coulomb and we will uh, later on discuss that why uh, how the unit of how we derive the unit of uh, electric field strength as Newton per coulomb now let's do some questions Calculate the electric field strength between two parallel uh, charged plates separated by 40 centimeter distance and with the potential difference between them of 1000 volt. <coughs> so the solution is the formula of electric field strength is volt over the distance. Putting the value, we get the uh, electric field strength as 25 newton raised to the power 2 volt per meter. So the potential difference, what is the potential difference? The potential difference between two points, A and B, is the work done against electric forces in carrying a unit positive, positive charge from point A to B. So the work done in bringing a unit charge from one point to another point, this is called potential difference. We represent the potential difference between A and B point as final uh, potential difference minus initial difference, or simply by V. So we can, we can write the work done. Uh, work done is equal to the uh, unit charge multiplied by the potential difference. So this, uh, its units are those of the work per ch uh, charge or joules per coulomb are called volts. So the volt uh, uh, potential difference uh, unit is volt and one volt is equal to one joule per coulomb. And it, is, uh, uh, and it can be defined as the work done in bringing a unit charge from one point to another point. Because work is a scalar quantity, so too the potential difference is also a scalar quantity. Like work, potential difference may be positive or negative. So what is electric potential energy? Electric potential energy can be defined as the energy required to move a unit charge between two points. Potential difference is defined as the energy change per coulomb between two points. So the potential difference, we know that potential difference is equal to energy required in moving a unit charge, in moving a unit charge between two points. So the ener electrical energy is equal to voltage multiplied by unit charge. Now let's uh, uh, find the relationship between the electric field strength and um, work done now suppose there are two metal plates are separated by distance 
the potential difference between the plate is V. A positive charge is pulled at a constant speed with a constant force from the negative plate all the way to the positive plate. Using the definition for electric field strength and the concept of work done, show that the magnitude of the electric field strength is given by the equation E is equal to V over D. So we know that work done on the charge is equal to the energy transferred. Work done, we know that work done is equal to force multiplied by distance or v is, W is equal to force into distance. And we know that energy transfer is also equal to the product of volt, uh, voltage multiplied by unit charge. So this, we will put the value in this equation. Substituting the values, work is equal to energy transfer. We get, uh, re after rearranging the equation, we get that force per charge is equal to voltage over distance. So here we know that the left hand side of the equation is equal is almost equal to the electric field strength. So electric field strength is all uh, either equal to the vo voltage divided by distance or it is equal to the force per unit charge. So you need to keep uh, these two equations in your mind for solving the coming questions. Now calculate the electric field strength at a point where a charge of 20 millicoulomb experiences a force vertically downwards of 150 newton. Now we know that the charge is almost 20 millicoulomb or 20 to 10 to the power minus 3 coulomb. Force is 150 newton. And we know that electric field strength is equal to the force experienced by unit charge. So 150 newton divided by the charge we get the final value to be 7.5 into 10 raised to power 3 newton per coulomb. An electron is situated in a uniform electric field. The electric force that acts on it is almost 8 into 10 raised to power minus 16 newton. What is the strength of the electric field? Here we know that the electric force is almost 8 into 10 raised to power minus 16 newton. Electric charge of electron, uh, charge on electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb, which is a constant value. And we know that electric field strength is equal to the force experienced by a unit charge. Putting the value on the equation, we get the final answer to be 5 into 10 to the power 3 newton per coulomb. Now there are two, mil, mil, two parallel metal plates separated by two, two, two centimeter that have a potential difference of 5 kilo volt. Calculate the electric force acting on a dust particle between the blade that has a charge of 8 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So here the distance between the two metal plates 2 centimeter. That is almost 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Voltage is 5 into 10 to the power 3 volt. Charge is 8.0 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. To calculate the force, you first need to determine the strength of the electric field. An electric field is equal to volt over distance. So we know that here, uh, voltage, by putting the value in the equation, we get the electric field strength value to be 2.5 into 10 to the power 5 volt per meter. Now, then we can calculate the force on the dust particle. We know that uh, force is equal to the electric field strength multiplied by unit charge. Putting the value, we get the final answer to be 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 13 newton force experienced by the dust. So, I hope that you have understood the lecture. Do study, stay happy, and take care of yourself. Bye bye.